Hey Thomas. Hey. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Um, we're in, uh, in, in oh, not we're in Zaga, we're in uh, Gangnam. No, no, no. Uh, no. Gyeongsan. Uh, Gyeongsan. Yep. Gyeongsan, which is uh, near near Daegu. Near Daegu, yep. And uh, it's sort of on the southern, toward the southern part of South Korea. Yep. Uh, north of Busan by about uh, an hour and a half's drive. Uh, got a lovely uh, train trip here on the, not on the KTX, I got on the ST, STX or something. Okay. Which is, I think, just a, another service that, that's operating. Right. But almost the same, same time and everything. Yeah. But um, uh, today is the 27th of January, yeah. and um, it's it's uh, the 27th day in what I'm calling 100 Days to Harvest, getting getting me to the point of fruition of this project I'm working on called uh, Friendship Tree, Ujong yeah. Ujong Namul, and. Uh, and the, the interesting thing is, um, uh, this is, this is uh, telling the story of friendship between Australia and Korea. Yeah. Uh, you, you've recently shared something with me that's, that's fascinating. Yeah. And, and really quite a, I think, a, not quite a bombshell, but, but a real um, interesting insight into, into uh, an unknown chapter in Australian history yeah. in Korea. And that is, in 1871, there was an incident of America's engagement with, with, with Korea. Let's, let's start there. Do you want to tell us what happened in 1871? Oh, in 1871, the, uh, uh, the U.S. Asiatic squadron was, was, right. was in Korea. Yeah. Um, and they came in May of 1871, and they were here until the very beginning of July. Right. Um, and uh, the whole idea was, it, it's, it started out with a peaceful intention by the United States, but it turned into uh, the United States and Korea having their first military action right. engagement with each other. Yeah. Um, and the uh, that, that was caused by what was seen to be offensive action by Koreans toward Americans. Well, or, or it, it was it was actually defensive action. Defensive action. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. To, to Koreans, they they were defending their right. territorial waters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'd say it was. A lot of it was really kind of uh, what was perceived as offensive action, but actually it was reasonable pushback against a foreign power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. By by yeah. by to, today's yeah. standards, they would have been well yeah. within their rights. Yeah, and and the, the outcome of that was quite horrendous from a Korean perspective. I yes. think there was a. I mean, genocide would be too strong a word, but. It was a route. It was a route on a whole community on an island that was pretty much destroyed. To my well, is that correct? Well, the um, the the Korean military were decimated. Right. Right. Um, yeah. So so yeah, it, it was a it was problematic from, from that standpoint uh, for for the Koreans, yeah. but diplomatically the Koreans won because they yeah. never gave they never gave in to what the Americans wanted. Okay. Okay. Interesting. But let's just let's just drill a bit deeper. I mean, this is something you've spent a lot of time looking at yeah. in terms of the origin of people who were on that on that Asiatic squadron. Yeah. Uh, for example, you told me this afternoon yeah. when we were talking that the first casualty recorded as an American, but actually Irish by birth. Right. And and that leads us to the information which we provided this morning, which was. Um, Two of the sailors, two of the mariners, were actually Australian. Australian, yeah. yeah, fascinating. One from Melbourne, one from Sydney. Yes. And we've we've we've, we've explored different um, uh, possibilities, uh, almost like through um, exploring the imagination of, right. of of what they might have been doing on the ship, where they might have come from, who they might have ridden to. Um, I, I think it's astounding because it's 1871, which is. Almost, it was what, almost 20 years earlier from the first missionaries who arrived in 1889, mm. um, and you know while, while their legacy might be um, minimal as we understand it, yeah. you know it's like we explored. It's almost certain that they they probably wouldn't have written letters to someone or taken some sort of souvenir. Right. Um, and uh, I just I just wanted to to capture this on. On, uh, on, on, on here, just to sort of say, look, there's more to this story there's than we know. There's more to the story. There is absolutely yeah. more to the yeah. story. And actually, Thomas, part of, part of that more to the story are the stories that other people have about their engagement with Korea. You know, contemporary stories, 
uh, that might seem pretty ordinary, but um, you know, I'd, I'd really encourage people to share your stories because uh, their stories I don't know, Thomas doesn't know, most of us don't know, but um, we hope that from the earliest stories that we don't know about to even today, we might get this richness of being together. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. When, when, you, when people yeah. bring together all their different stories, you can start to see different different parts yeah. fill, fill in the yeah. areas that yeah for sure yeah but thanks for being part of the journey to date and um, I'm going to be picking up that story um, looking forward to keeping you informed and uh, ha hopefully collaborating to, to send some more stuff I look good. forward to it yeah great and we've got we got uh, we got dinner here cooking away um, so uh, happy new year for tomorrow happy new year say book money by the same yeah great to see you man okay